But what we've done is develop this machine to give us a consistent 40 to 80 mile per hour wind. And this allows us to screen our hybrids and our germplasm every year. And so now when a hybrid from Pioneer becomes commercial, it has gone through the Boreas process probably 25 or 30 times in order to meet the expectations of our customers. Or this wind machine, our Boreas machine, will come through and try to replicate about a 65 mile an hour to 70 mile an hour wind. And we're gonna put a lot of stress on these plots and try to knock them over. And so the reason we're trying to do that is to really just try to increase our selection for what can really withstand some of these bad storms that we see in the area. And this year in 2020, we were very fortunate. We actually had a wind event come five days after we blew this with the Boreas machine. And as you can see here in this plot, this, this row was blown and you can see the pretty severe uh, early root lodging, but this one was not blown. You can see the same effect and this is just from the natural storm. There are the traded varieties out yeah. here. So there is chrome out here. So that was a way that we were able to really characterize that one point of root strength that we, we gained going to chrome. Um, by being able to open up the, the genetics that, you know, the wider profile of genetics that we were able to use the chrome in. So this also helped determine that.